Oh, hello, hello, hello again, everyone. This is Gilmer, and this is episode 16 of my Let's Play American Civil War 2. I can't believe it's gone this long without a crash to desktop. I hope I didn't jinx myself because, um, actually, I did have a crash to desktop, but it was before I loaded the game. I was fooling around doing the alt enter and going into. Con uh, task manager and it and it did bomb out but it was before I loaded the game so hopefully it will not affect my let's play and so resume will get us back to where we were just a small recap um, yeah that's not anything we're, we're too worried about Small recap, we have 108 in national morale. The Confederacy has 92. It keeps going up. Don't know why, but it keeps going up. But we've won some battles. We have six armies as they're listed over here. Um, currently, some of the things that I'm doing, I am building an amphibious force in New Haven, Connecticut. And the ultimate objective is, and don't tell them we're coming, but the ultimate objective is New Orleans. Because it is a pretty strategic five points. And if we take it, that'll be huge for us and it will be devastating for the South. Some of the other things that are going on, I am sieging Richmond at this point. I have one breach. They have, if I can get to it well I know that they have about 1100 in power another thing I'm doing is I have Stonewall Jackson bottled up in this town right here hopefully I can get another whichever one it is I think it's him I'm taking him and going to put him on top of this region as well so then it'll be will have what 1500 in power and they will have 1200 and it'll be pretty tough for them to break out although they might try and so I have two of their two fairly good sized armies of theirs bottled up in a, in a city or town and hopefully I can get at least one of them to uh, re you know surrender and then we come to Tennessee slash Kentucky, and as you can see, there are a lot of formations over here. A lot of Confederate formations, I should say. And then we have my thin blue line. Or I mean, I'm not. I'm, I shouldn't say that. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, minimize what our police forces do, but. It just came to my it just came to my mind to say thin blue line while looking at our blue colored forces here and they're just spread out along this line. I have this formation on assault. I don't know if he will be able to do it, but I outnumber them two to one, so I th I would hope that I can do it, but we shall see and then I have Ulysses S. Grant and he is sieging Chester, Illinois there is a power of 550 in there as the 6th division if he was active I'd put him on assault because they don't have any walls it says the structure is still intact, but there's no walls there. So I could just assault the city whenever I'm active. The south, or I mean not the south, but the west is kind of a mixed up jumble. I don't really know. I don't really know. What is he going over there for? What are you going over there for, pal? 
Um, I don't really know if I can take these guys on with him, but he seems to be a fairly strong unit. Actually, I wonder if I can... take those guys right back out somehow I managed to screw this up it, he was at eight command points and now he's only at six now he's at 294 I'm really screwing this up Okay, now he's back to 312. So anyway, we're going to leave him here. He's inactive anyway, so he's not going to do too much. He's not going to be able to do too much. And f out further west, Henry H. Sibley. Does he have any troops whatsoever? They're at war with me, so screw you. Take me 15 days to get there, but if he's at war with me, the hell with him. And then maybe I'll go up here to Fort Garland, if at all possible. Wonder if I can, if I. Um. Did that make him stronger? I can't remember what he was. Probably not. The training of a field hospital is almost complete. It's starting to come together. I'm going to have all these guys in the army that assaults New Orleans. And 18... Yeah. Had a lot of people congratulated, but nobody actually was promotable. So anyway, you've seen my plans for the next turn. I've pretty much done all the plans I'm going to do. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I really can do. I'm really glad that Stonewall Jackson is bottled up here. Hopefully we can keep him there because I really didn't like seeing him floating around out here with a 1,200 under his belt. So let's see. Let's process this turn and see what happens. Hopefully good. Yeah, if I can get him up there and get them all entrenched, that that should. Uh... Does that mean he's being he's able to sortie? I hope not. Because if he does, and I think this is Franklin, he will most assuredly be pushed back. Come on, let's go. they keep getting bigger armies than what I have and 
Oh, come on. There we go. They keep trying. Look at that guy. It showed him already up across the river. I don't agree with that one bit. How is he able to get out of there? I don't know. Good. Oh, maybe we injured Robert E. Lee. And how did that guy get out of uh, Lexington? I think it is. I see. Oh, I don't know how that's a stalemate when they lost three times, almost three times as many. Well, if you count in the horse, it is three times as many. But I'll take it. Oh, please. This is... How does he move across that river if it's landlocked like that? Where did Lou Wallace go? Oh, he's down here. What the hell is he doing down there? I guess it's because he took Madisonville? Why is he inactive? It's two turns in a row he's inactive. That's a, it's, it's a little bit of a bunch of crap, if you ask me. <sighs> and of course we're at 107. How did we lo how did we lose points there? I'm not understanding that. So I don't really because it says right there he still has his his command. William H. French is promoted to general, major general. Stoneman Howard. An, an interesting little thing. This is actually the picture or uh, photograph or whatever they would call it 
of uh, one of the programmers. They didn't have a picture, I guess, for the the real uh, leader here, so they used his picture. I don't know, but um, he he does that in all his games actually. So it's just one of those interesting things that happen. But this gets this is kind of bugs me. We lost. How do we lose a point there? That is about as even as, as almost you could get it. He lost 2,300. I lost 2,700. And yet, this stalemate where they lost three times as many men as me, I don't get a point for that. I mean, I know it's a stalemate, but that really should have been a victory, and it really should have been points for me. And Jackson is still in there. So, I wonder if it's because this guy comes up and, and attacks and then they try to rally out of there. And how do they manage to keep finding armies? Oh, you got to be kidding me. They repaired the breach again. This is really kind of annoying me, to be honest with you. And you can't, I can't get my damn cursor on that damn icon. But I guarantee you they pr repaired one of the breaches. Now that pisses me off. They should not be able to do that. We made a breach. Do they ever have any injuries? It looks like my guys are constantly being injured. I don't get it. I don't get some of these things. I really don't. Yeah. John of Arroyo, Louis S. Wallace, Ed, Irvin McDowell, George H. H. Thomas has been congratulated. Abner Doubleday has been congratulated. Well, it's a little annoying to me, to be honest with you. It's a little unfair. Boy, he sure did lose a lot of his men. He's only at 463 now. He was at 1258. He lost almost a th uh, two thirds of his men. These guys lost a lot of men too, but they're in better shape if I have both of them in there at 900. Oh, did I? already look over here has he been is this the third turn he's been act or have I already looked at this guy <sighs> his forces Excuse me.
unfucking believable. I should have never gone into this place right here. should tell me if there's this guy's doing all right he's oh crap as soon as I leave that guy's gonna come back down to hell with that see if we can't get him to Maybe. Why is he? Jesus Christ. says he's still an army. That's not finished. That's not finished. That's not finished. That's not finished. Uh, we want him in there as well. Oh, crap. Well, we want both of them in there. Where to go? 15 of 17. Actually, we can make him... We don't want too many guys in Rosencrantz. What is your, what are your value? Three, two, and three. I've seen better, but I've seen a lot worse too. We'll throw that in there. Rosencrantz needs a couple of one stars. So we'll throw them in there. Milroy needs some people as well. Where'd those... We're getting there. What's his... What's his power? He's at... Give him another. Oh, wait a minute. We'll give Milroy another. 
There we go. So we'll have 274, 523, and 492, but that's before we get a lot of these others. And that Irish Legion Brigade going up there as well. So, And then we have some more guys being built around here somewhere, I guess in, over here. Uh, let's see. Montgomery's Brigade, Dandy's Brigade. Is this one? No. Is this one? No. Where else? Providence? Where are we building anybody? No. What is this? Oh, it's just a garrison. What about here? Ah! Uh, we need some, uh, we need some cavalry down here. Him too. What the hell? There we go. I like that. I like those moves. This up here is just a big freaking mess. It really is. Don't really know what he's got going. Um. When he's out of there we'll just put him as a as a garrison he's there's literally almost nothing we can do with that a 417 a 9 a 32 uh so next turn he better be active that's all i gotta say jesus he's got plenty of supply once he uh once we assault this We'll come down here and relieve that. And then we'll start moving across here. I really want to get rid of somebody. If I demote him, what would happen? Two national morale. And I'm at 107. And they're at 91. I mean, what, what do I need him for? Let's fucking go ahead and do it. Do it now while we can. Because you might not get that second chance to do it. And then... He's a core? Yeah, that's not... Now look at him, 1969. That's some power there, pal. I didn't even look to see if that would cost me any any morale damage if I promoted him. Um, I think he was the high seniority. Maybe they'll just surrender. That would be awesome. All right, let's uh, process this turn, and I'm probably not going to like some of the things that happen, to be honest. Um, let's see if we can't do something there it's the angry war gamer on the loose again 
I just don't. I really don't understand some of those things, though. Why would a battle where they lost three times as many guys as me be a stalemate, and I get no points for it? And then this one over here. I mean, I know. I mean, I understand the whole if there were units destroyed, but I don't think any units were destroyed on in either battle. So I just think that's a little strange. This this turns this episode is probably going to be about 40, 43, 40 minutes, four minutes long or so, I think. Maybe a little longer, I don't know. But I'll definitely uh, kind of look at the results of this turn before I log off. I hope somebody, hope somebody retreats. I mean, not retreats, but surrenders. There we go. That's a victory. There's another victory. Those two those two guys, Sterling Price and Braxton Bragg, they they got me concerned up there. I late I keep leaving this guy. He's just gonna wither away. He's probably gonna get destroyed, actually. Oh nice. That's stu that was stupid to forget him there. Another one I don't get. How's that a defeat? Alright. That guy's going to get destroyed. I got a bad feeling about that. Stupid to leave him out there on his own. Alright. Prick. It better be me beating them. Ooh. Changes from surrender and disband. What is that? That's there. Nice. Nicely done, Grant. Nicely done. That was a pretty big unit too. That was 500 power. That, that is beautiful. And we gained a morale point on that one. Nice. Did we lose a point on any of them? Doesn't look like it. So we gained two points. Oh. Oh, Jackson's still there. He's at 435 and he's at 472. Jackson is at 461. So we outnumber him two to one there. Um... Crittenden has no supply, so we'll put those in there with him. 
He's got supply. Although these two need to be replenished. So we'll move them up here. And uh, let's see. Don't really want to do anything else with those people there. And they are. Excuse me. Okay. They need to be replenished too. I wish uh, Richmond would surrender. That'd be damn. Great. Oh. Oh, that's there. Well, then. Oh, okay. New Haven, New Haven. That's there. Oh, there's my cavalry. Funny how they got two cities there, one named Lancaster and one named York. I don't remember ordering that guy to ordering anything to be done there. We'll move back down there. He took Rome, but that's a pretty dumb thing to do right there, to be honest with you. I would have never done that. 25th Division. I just come down here. Nope. We'll, we will put him on offensive. This guy's just way out in the middle of nowhere. I need to get him somewhere. Which reminds me. This guy. He's got plenty of supplies, just... All screwed up. Let's move him back to Tucson. Hopefully he can get him there. Uh, while taking Bloomington, you gain control of Bloomington. They gain control of Rome. Kansas is hit, but due to lack. 
A couple of guys were congratulated. What does F2 look like? Sure enough, I've got enough replacements bought, but they're not, they don't seem to be making their way to where they need to go. And I've got a couple more guys being built there. Those look like the, uh, the uh, unique units. What am I doing here? This is just the 198. I don't have anything out here that's going to really do anything to him. I mean, this guy could potentially do something, but we'll leave them in there. They, they built up back up pretty decently, I guess. But what's this deal? Oh, okay. I can't tell what's in there. Three units. Let's, let's hang back here and see what's in there before we go charging in. He's at 900. Oh, Howard's Detachment, Crittenden, and Pack Train. And Crittenden's at 670. He's at 9. That's 1,500. They're at 1,200. You'd think his his stats would start going up. Well, I th no, he's still, I think that's what he started at, 222. Two, two. You'd think his stats would start going up. He keeps winning battles. I mean, not decisive battles, but... He's winning. If he lost, they'd definitely be running him down and making act, making like he's no good. Um. Okay. Hey guys. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate everybody watching. I I noticed that I have. 58 subscribers now and i do appreciate it and you know you know if you want to comment leave a comment you know i probably am not doing anything correctly i mean i know that i'm not an expert at this and that was one of the things that i've always said is that i'm not an expert of at playing these games i just want people to kind of see them and maybe filter through some of my comment you know some of my you know exclamations or or things like that and kind of see because you know when i first picked up the american civil war the first one these were not they didn't look like these cities they they looked like little square buildings or something and i first time i loaded up i was like what the hell is this had no idea and i and i never played it again for maybe a year and then i got rise of prussia and i was so interested in it that i did start playing it and because I played Rise of Prussia, I then went ahead and played the first American Civil War and, and enjoyed it a lot. And then, of course, when this was announced, I knew I would be buying it and playing it. And um, I really do, you know, I really do, even though sometimes I get, you know, a little agitated. I watch other people and they don't ever get agitated. It's like, oh, you just lost half your army. Oh, that's just the greatest thing ever. And I'd be like, damn it, I can't believe it. So uh, I did um, one thing I wanted to mention, and then I haven't had an update about it, but uh, that random gamer has asked me if I wanted to do a PBEM game a uh, play by email game against him with to end all wars and i said i would and uh hopefully i'll be able to film it because i think that would be very interesting uh, i'm pretty sure he'll probably skunk me and really just destroy me very easily because he looks like he knows what he's doing and i just kind of blunder around out there until i you know i played the easiest the easiest side so many times that I've just kind of blown around out there and win the game. Uh, the Western Entente, I think, is the easiest side to win with because I think it's almost kind of like the uh, Union in, 
in the civil American Civil War. They just it just seems like they have more resources and more men and more everything to uh, compete. They definitely have the biggest navy. But anyway, you know that's me rambling on. But I really do appreciate you watching, and uh, I will see you next time.